Well, hello everybody. Good morning and greetings from uh, the RV capital of the United States. We're in the Elkhart, Indiana area. Uh, well, technically this is uh, Bristol, Indiana. We are about 10 miles away from the manufacturing facility for the Winnebago Tools, which is uh, in Middlebury. And uh, today I'm gonna show you some of the new models that uh, Monabego is, uh, is working on and possibly, possibly, I don't know if I'm gonna call it Mini Tini 4, but possibly Mini Tini 4. We're gonna see some of the hike units, which uh, now they have a hike flex, which I'm really excited to see. And uh, we're gonna see some of the micro minis, uh, one new mini, and they have a voyage also that is a new floor plan. I'm riding. Riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Yeah. And I'm gonna start here with the with the Hike 100 series. And this right here, this is a little bit of a prototype. The final unit may not look exactly like this, but this is the Hike 100 Flex. And yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it as a verb. I, I believe my uh, Winnebago is starting to flex uh, a lot more of their of their units here. And this is otherwise, it's uh, very similar to the Hike 100 we've seen before. Uh, you know, the front here is very similar. You have the sink. You have your um, uh, your uh, microwave convection microwave, uh, uh, 12 volt refrigerator down there. But here, look at that. We have that Santrex 3000 watt inverter. We have a Truma Aventa <laughs> a air conditioner, which you know I'm a fan. <laughs> and uh, and we also have the all the Truma products. You know they have the the Truma Vario heat uh, furnace, which it is an outstanding product, by the way. And uh, yeah, oops, this uh, I believe this was supposed to be some else, but anyway, they have uh, which I say I think is brilliant. They have added some storage here on top of the of the wheel well, and uh, and it's part of that outdoor kitchen that I'm gonna show you. Not in this one, but in another one. This one actually has what they call a, it's not a, a toy hauler; it's a gear hauler. And uh, and down here you have these two sofas with the table and the the, the the bed that would go up and down, get out of the way, uh, so you can use this area as a multi-purpose area. And here you have. A, a a wet bath which is a great utilization of space you have a little sink you have a cassette toilet and um, and it's a good unit this will be the, the the flex version of the hike 100 you have the bat wing awning here in the back and uh, this will be one of the i believe they have four configurations uh, on the on the hike 100 and uh, one of the main things here on the hike <laughs> and uh, uh, I want to show you. It's the suspension system, which we have a product. We have the the, the, the prototype back there. In fact, uh, yesterday uh, I, I I I chatted with the gentleman, you know, the rep from the company, and uh, and I'm gonna you know insert that video here. Okay, and I, and I show you that that a, a upgraded suspension that all the Hike 100s are gonna have. And here we have Chris with Norco Industries and. Uh, Tell us all about it, man. Got yeah. It. yeah. So uh, we actually we partnered with Winnebago and Dexter Axle on this. So it's the first of its kind. We we took a, a torsion axle from uh, Dexter mm -hmm. and we cut it in half. So there's Ooh. two stub axles on the on the side. I see. And then on the center here, as you can see, we built a bridge here, so you get about 20 inches of ground clearance. And then on the sides, we put in a shock absorber as well. So you have the smooth ride of a torsion, um, but then you can also go off-roading as well. Mm -hmm. So going 70 miles down the road, you have the cords on the inside of that torsion tube that are going to take the hit, and then uh, the shock absorber as well is going to and is going to work along with the frame. So yeah, it's really awesome. Uh, we were able to help Winnebago out as well. Um, they wanted to get some more carrying capacity, so we put a 4,400 pound axle on this, and then they beefed it up with a 16 inch tire and. <laughs> So it's gonna, it looks really cool and I think it's gonna be a big hit. I think so too and it's a trend. Uh, a lot of yeah. people are more into overlanding these days and uh, yeah. yeah, having that independent suspension on both sides, that's, I think that's gonna be a game changer. I'm sure you've tested, uh, oh, tested yeah. it out. That it's we did, we did testing at our own shop and then we actually took it to the Navistar testing grounds in South Bend and we broke about all of our, all of our trucks but we couldn't break the independent suspension. So it was pretty, it was pretty awesome. Um, yeah. 
even our engineers that got out of the truck i mean it's, it's a pretty brutal yeah. test yeah mm -hmm. uh oh. along with the independent suspension though um we all this is also our, our frame we built for all the towables uh so this okay. is a huck bolted frame so we try to do as little welding as we can and a huck bolt is actually a bolt and a collar and it compresses and crimps together and each one of these huck bolts has six thousand pounds of clamp load on it so it's built to flex a little bit as it's moving and mm -hmm. uh that's why we do it because a weld is not built to flex right yeah um the all of our uh, steel is hsla steel so it's high strength low ally steel and which basically means it's the lightest you can get but the strongest so it's an automotive type uh steel we bring it in on semis it's all stored inside uh never sees the light of day so we we never paint over rust or anything um and then we has an eco and powder coat finish so we we paint everything individually before we assemble it and then once it's assembled that's finally when it goes outside so yeah it's a very good coating and uh yeah we're very proud of it yeah and that yeah. might convince me convince me to get into a hike <laughs> into a hike 100 because I, I you guys haven't seen it yet but i i recently bought a new truck and it's a nice four by four so yeah i'm getting ready to hit the desert yeah. uh, well, anyway, thank you, Chris, uh, thank you for very much. for yeah. for telling us about the, the new suspension on the Hike 100 units. And uh, I'm really thinking about uh, doing a little more of that overlanding lifestyle. This one is a different unit. The front, as you can see, is pretty much the same. This is not a, a flex. Before we continue, I need to point out, and I forgot to show it on the video, that this is a drawer that opens up where you can have an induction cooktop. So as you can see, you don't have the inverter. You have a regular domestic AC. So they have those two configurations. If you really want to go off grid and have lithium batteries and boondock a lot, <laughs> the, the flex version is going to be the one for you. But this one is also very capable. Here we have a U-shaped dinette that will turn into a bed. And we have passed through to the back because let me show you here in the back. In the back, we have an outdoor kitchen and it'll come with uh, with a, it'll come with a, with a truma cooler which i'm a fan too i have one of those um, we have a jbl by Harman, a bluetooth speaker which it's uh, bound to sound good back here you, know, you can put an induction cooktop and um, you know you have passed through to the front and even more storage here and here so if you're cooking back here you can pass the the, the plates through to, to the front and uh, by the way, this is uh, where we are right now. This is the the open house, which is uh, ma mainly a dealers only show. So I don't have like any pricing information or anything like that. All I can tell you is the dimensions and uh, the model number. This is the H thirteen sixteen DB. And here, uh, exterior length fifteen eleven, dry weight and hitch weight to be determined because, of course, these are for the more most part still. Uh, you know demo units some of them are even prototypes so um let's see this one this one this is 1316 tb so i'm i'm gonna go out on a limb here and say it is it is a twin bed unit and it certainly is actually actually i like this i hadn't seen this one before you have the sofa here but you have a, a bunk beds here and this one has a huge wardrobe closet here i don't know if i saw that wardrobe closet in the other ones is I'm going uh, here real quick through all of them and the front uh, it's uh, very similar in all of them this one for example you have you would have a Murphy bed I actually like this too the closet not as huge as that other one but here this uh, this front corner here I believe it is exactly the same in all of them you will have let me let me let me go inside the, let me go inside the wet bath here so you can see it you have a sink you have a cassette toilet and this is for for your toilet paper so it doesn't get wet and uh, here you have a little more storage your 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 command center and uh, this one in the back you will have this uh, sofa with a murphy bed actually i like this one let's see in the back here and as you know when the bago is, is is kind of uh, uh, gearing this uh, this hike 100 units to to that active lifestyle you have the exoskeleton so you can uh, so you can attach to it all kinds of uh, gear is compatible with all the the gear storage uh. and one thing it's so light that you can tow it potentially with a class b so let's say if you have a family and you have children or mother-in-law 
or something, you know, and uh, you know you you want to have more more room. You, you you can tow the trailer with your class B. You can sleep in the class B, have the rest of the family in the trailer, and then if you really want to go on a four by four adventure, you take the van, and that uh, I think that would be a great way to go. Now let me show you a new uh, hike. This is a brand new model. Uh, it is the hike 200, and let's. Uh, Let's check it out. Okay, here we have the Hike 200. And the first thing that comes to, to mind here, we have an outdoor kitchen, and uh, this whole thing would come out. Here you have that Greystone uh, uh, griddle, which also comes with an adapter to become a, an actual grill. Here we have for a sink or induction cooktop. Now, this one also has that exoskeleton that the Hike 100 has. Um, but as you can tell it is much bigger hey, hence the name hike 200 instead of 100 um, this one would have an exterior length of 25 uh, uh, feet one inch dry weight of dry weight of 4934 and hitch weight of 716 um, i would have to look at the gvwr to see like a total weight here but there you go you have a u-shaped dinette and I like this storage here. I didn't think I was going to like it as much. I have it in Mini Tini 3. And it has a very deep uh, lip. So it's, it, it would be very difficult for things to fall off here unless you have something like really big or really heavy. So that's a good thing to have. This one, you have some storage here. A 12 volt refrigerator. You have the range. You have the sink here. A convection microwave. More storage here. I mean, huge uh, cavernous storage down here. That is, of course, thanks in part to this whole side being a slide out. Um, here in the back, you have bunk beds. And uh, there's uh, also some storage down here, uh, a little bit of storage. And uh, I'm assuming this will be the bathroom right here. Yeah, we have a full dry bath on this uh, unit. Uh, the, sh the shower, I, I believe this will be the same size shower as in Mini Tini uh, 3, which is, it, it's, it's very, very, very ample, ample, ample room. I mean, if you are, I'm, I'm, I'm 5'10", so if you are oh, I, I'm taller than 5'10", you may have to crouch a little bit. That That's the only thing, you know, it's uh, like everything in an RV uh, can be a compromise in that sense, you know, it's... Uh, um, <laughs> Uh, very tall people and very short people. <laughs> it, 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 could, uh, it could be a, a little bit of an inconvenience, but hey, there you go. Uh, I, I like the fact that they're having a, a large mirror here in the, in the bathroom because sometimes the mirror comes all the way up to here, so then if you're short, you can really see yourself. So, um, and, if, and this one is very tall, so you, if you are 6'2", six, 6'3", six, you can still use it. Nice medicine cabinet here, a lot of storage. Uh, a, a, a towel holder and um, there's a little bit of room here quite a bit of room to put your toiletries and whatnot um, over here and this is huge storage I mean I can barely reach to, to, all the way to the back that's huge storage and uh, here's a wardrobe closet that is also very wide which is a good thing because sometimes these wardrobe closets tend to be a little narrow and then you know it's um it's not the the best the, my, my my only concern here and the only thing that i can think of that could be for some people a concern is that when this slide is all the way in you cannot go all the way to the back so to to get to the back you will have to deploy the slide which um, is for for most people it's not a big deal so um that's uh that's the hike 200 in a nutshell i mean you have a storage a little bit of storage down here and uh, over here that would be the bottom of that u-shaped dinette here down here you have uh, the furnace and all that but down here you have a pass through to that uh, storage underneath I didn't show you but up here we have even more storage for like you know plates uh, silverware uh, when I was putting this sink I believe in pretty much everything these days it's a good sink and here we have the this uh, it has uh, two settings like like a like a shower and a regular 
Right. Yeah. That will be the hike 200, and that will be pretty much the extent uh, to which we are going to cover the hike models uh, today. It is, uh, I, I actually like the Hike 100, that flex uh, unit, it's, it's kind of tempting to, to see where that's going. And uh, hmm, maybe Minitini 5, I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, since I got that 4x4 truck now, I'm kind of getting more into that overlanding um, mindset. Okay, I'm not gonna go much into the regular uh, Micro Mini Flex, like the 2108 models, because as you know, that's what I have right now and you, I'm, I'm sure you've seen it many many times this is the 2108 FSB and that's uh, quite a bit of storage down here even with the, with the lithium battery it, uh, it, they, they have maximized that, spa that space uh, really really nicely here's the, the uh, and by the way also all of them even the hikes uh, they also have the, the, the power electric uh, jacks the stabilizing jacks that will be the the exhaust for the for the true map uh, vario furnace we have power we have cable we have this uh, quick connect uh, water spray which is like an outside shower but it feels more like like a like a garden hose because it has that that nozzle here's uh, the your your fresh water fill on this side and this will be the one with the permanent bed as you see, I, I like this uh, storage of here with the lip. At the beginning, I, I, I even thought about covering with a, with a cargo net, but you don't really need it. Nothing, I mean, one time that something fell off. Just one of those times that you go through, a, you, you accelerate on an uphill. Only one time something fell off. This one has the permanent bed here, which also has storage underneath. And that's huge. That, that's, that's a lot of storage down there you can put. Uh, a lot of stuff this one is almost a full walk around bed so you can come all the way here you have your nightstands on both sides you have a the wardrobe closet which is what i was talking about this one can be a little bit narrow when it comes to if you, if you have like like a large coats and stuff like that uh, but it 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 works. I mean, it's uh, we've been using it, and uh, I don't know if if we change models. I don't know how we're gonna do without having uh, both uh, for Ely and for me uh, wardrobe closets. Back there we have USB and the power for our electronics. This is a, a game changer when it comes to my cooking shows because you know I have more uh, room. And the main thing that they have changed here in the in the micro mini line is the the colors the decor they, they have now this kind of foam marble motif that i really like uh, the lighter the colors in in a small rv like this uh, the better it is to, to make it look you know bigger this one is the one with the, with the sofa bed on this side on the slide out and i'm sure they also have a dinette option like the one that i have a 12 volt refrigerator they they've gone with ge this time instead of uh, domestic which uh, it's, it's it's very similar in size to the domestic and the bathroom is identical to what we have we have the big closet here more storage more storage down here and storage down here they, they change the handles that's the only thing that i see different the shower is exactly the same to what i have um, exactly the same as the shower miser and everything the shower miser is good to, to save water if you're boondocking uh, because what, what it does you turn it on and and, and you don't waste uh, the, the hot water going into your gray tank if you're boondocking it will recirculate that hot water back into the fresh water tank which undocumented feature I discovered <laughs> It is also a good idea. It is also it also works if you want to fill up your fresh tank and you're connected to to full hookups. You you, you have to bring the hose to this side. Actually, it, it it does it slowly, but you can potentially fill up your fresh water tank by using uh, the, the shower miser, which I thought it was uh, hilarious. Actually, and I, I'm I'm gonna call it an undocumented feature at this point. Let me. This is another flex. This is the 2108 TB, which is basically the same thing, but it, uh, it has twin beds, and you can even make it into a king bed if you put uh, that, uh, an extra cushion here. So 
that's uh, and it has more storage up here. The storage up here actually a lot more storage uh, together with that uh, lip, that shelf with the lip. Now this is a new flex that I haven't seen before because this is larger. This is the 2306 BHS. I believe this one has bunk beds, and uh, you know I keep uh, forgetting, but yeah, this would be those batteries for the flex system down here and you still have quite a bit of of uh, of room there to to put like uh, camping chairs that's where i put like the the, the hoses and, and all that stuff this one is a murphy bed in the front here very similar to minute actually i really like this uh, this motif with the with the uh, marble this one has uh, a lot more counter space here but they even put uh, an extension for good measure, up here we have a uh, pan for storage. Down here we have this one. This is like for for your silverware, and then we have very large drawers. And this, of course, is a the drawer for your pots and pans right here. And none of this would have a and uh, when I go stopped putting a propane ovens a long time ago. Not, not a long time ago. <laughs> it feels like a long time ago, but just like two years ago, and they started going with the with the high efficiency uh, convection microwave. Which, if you have the flex model, of course, it, it'll work uh, uh, with your uh, with your lithium battery. You know, it'll with the inverter. They're putting this JBL system in all the new uh, units, which I believe is going to be a great upgrade from what they used before. And this one, as, as they were telling me, has two zones, so you can have in here um, some music or, or t audio for the TV, and outside you can have a different program, like to annoy your, I know your neighbors, or nah, not really. I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, this one and uh, this one would have the bunk beds here in the back, storage uh, down underneath, and uh, let me show you the bathroom here. Okay, this is different. Here we have storage, here we have uh, the, the toilet, which as my friend Matt would say, it's a prime pooping position, that's Matt from Matt RV Reviews. I wish they would have a, a, a larger mirror here, uh, because Illy, for example, uh, she's this tall and sometimes it is hard for her to, uh, to you know, to see herself in the mirror and um, I would, I, would, I would love to see something a little lower or maybe a second mirror here on the door which is what I would do as an aftermarket upgrade. You know, we always uh, do upgrades even to the best units. Like you, you would put here like a, like a paper towel uh, the, the dispenser most likely. There has, there has to be a way to uh, somewhere to put uh, like a trash can somewhere down there perhaps. So. Um, but I really like this shower. <laughs> Let me see if I can open it up. I'm not gonna go inside because uh, it rained uh, yesterday and this morning. Uh, all night it rained actually here in Middlebury, Bristol, Elkhart. I don't know exactly where we are. But yeah, it is it is uh, it is very very spacious in there. I like it. So um, let's see. Actually. I want to show you what may be our Mini Tini 4 and I want to get your opinion and see if you think it is a unit that is going to work for us and I believe this is it, the 1720 FB and uh, let me tell you, I'm, it's, it's kind of like going back to basics this is again, uh, I believe 19 and change uh, length a unit it should say it here no, it's 20.5, so it's a little longer, so that the, the 17, well, maybe 20, that, that's where the 20 comes from, the 17, 20. Uh, we don't have a dry weight or, or hitch uh, weight uh, data yet, but the first thing that comes to me, look look at the size of this, I mean, and, uh, and storage is very important in any RV that you have, and, uh, you know, sometimes I have to put, like, my camping chairs in, uh, in, the, in the truck bed or whatnot, uh, this, even if they were to flex, to flex it, yeah, I'm gonna keep using that as a ver as a verb, because I would like like every RB to have a flex uh, option because uh, you know I want to have lithium batteries. I want to be able to 
I mean, even if you don't boom duck as much, if you if you're gonna stay at a rest area for a couple of hours, and it is August, you wanna turn on that AC and have a little bit of respite from uh, from the heat. Okay, first thing here in the back, we have that little window. We have a spare tire, and all of them actually, and I forgot to mention, all of them now have a hitch receiver where you can put maybe a bike rack or, or you know some accessories you know a kayak rack I don't know you know use your imagination well this is it of course this one also has those JBL speakers and uh, I like it because it is a very similar in size to my original 1706 and then 1708 let me see back here we have some storage down here we have more storage I don't know I would have to Ilya and I would have to get together and see where we're gonna put things you know this is a small storage this is very similar to what we have in ours right now same place same placement above uh, the the TV wireless charger this this area is very similar to all of them even the the pantry storage down here which is very deep this one is a little smaller to, than what we have right now. And of course, this is a unit without a slide. And that's the, the one thing that actually I, I, I thought it was uh, uh, for, for, for what I want to use it. I kind of like not having a slide and they are always being the same. Uh, you know, especially if, if you, if you, if you want to minimize to this. But, and, and you just want to park it here and there. And spend time in it well maybe even uh, urban boondocking or at a, at a rest area sometimes it is tight or sometimes it is even inappropriate to deploy the slide and uh, this would be great for that up here this is probably the largest storage area which is very large I could even put my piano up there although in, in Minitini 1 and 2 in the 1706 and the 1708 this right here this area was my keyboard storage area because you know it's kind of natural you put it uh, upwards like that and it's uh it fits perfect but up here you I mean you could put golf clubs i mean all kinds of stuff i like having the, the large window right next to where your pillow your head is you know you wake up in the morning you see a beautiful sunrise and it is right there right next to you or even for for air circulation is really nice and uh, as you can see if you recall this is kind of like a mirror image of uh, my Minitini 1 and 2 my Minitini 2 mostly because it looks more like it let's check this out down here that's a very nice cavernous space there and uh, here we have even more storage here uh, on the side here maybe for you could read a book or maybe actually that's where I would put the computer. Yeah, over here we have that large sink that they're they're putting everywhere now. Same faucet that has the the two settings, and then, you know you can wash things and whatnot. Same range that we have here. It has a now it used to have blue lights. Now they're white. Um, we have the refrigerator. Same GE unit we've seen elsewhere. Same uh, convection microwave. Those, those things, you know, they are very similar in all the units, which is good for them for the manufacturing process. You know, you have one convection microwave that you are installing in all your, all your units. This is decent storage up here. I, uh, for, you know, kind of pantry storage. That's what we use it for uh, in ours. Down here we have big drawer for pots and pants and pants and pants I was gonna say because I'm looking at my pants and uh, down here is not a drawer that will be your your converter box down here it is a pretty good storage space you have some storage down here and even down there even more although you have to be careful because the, the the water lines are down there which by the way this is kind of a little bit of a prototype I'm sure uh, some things are going to change I like I mean, it, it might get a uh, you know a little bit of a backsplash from the from when you're cooking, but I like having this huge window here overlooking your campsite. This will be where your 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 camping chairs would be, your fire ring and whatnot. And then you have this huge window here so you can spy on your neighbors. 
right next to the dinette. The dinette is kind of a two-person dinette. I mean, uh, and that's the one thing. Since we work on the road, maybe we, we don't we, we wouldn't have enough surface area, but we'll have to do check it out. And uh, I mean, you could sit two people in this chair, but I mean, you really you have to like really like each other. But you know, you can you know sit down here, cozy, spying on your neighbors, and watching your smart TV powered by those JBL speakers. And uh, yeah, I think that would be a good thing. Um, we're gonna miss uh, having a, a sofa or Murphy bed. I wonder if they can make that into a Murphy bed. I have to ask. <laughs> but but uh, I like I like the the distribution of this unit so far, and I haven't shown you yet the main thing, which is here. That this is the the main change from uh, our Minitini one and two, and they did they totally redid the bathroom and uh, actually let me get behind the camera so I can show you and uh, I imagine that at some point and as I was saying this is kind of a prototype at some point I imagine they're gonna put a mirror here or a mirror here or even better even better a medicine cabinet somewhere I mean this this bathroom is screaming for a medicine cabinet we have the same toilet which as uh, my friend Matt would say yeah it's a prime pooping position you have plenty of room even if you close this door I mean much better than the Minitini one and two which had that corner shower here and this is the main shower which is exactly the same size this is a this is exactly the same size as the shower in my current trailer as the 2108, but this is brilliant. Look what they did. We have a, a drop down sink with a small faucet here. And let me show you. Because when, when Adam first told me about this uh, uh, solution, I thought that you would have to like get inside the shower to be able to use it, but you can use it from out here. I mean, it's not like the most uh, comfortable, but you can definitely use it standing uh, here on the on, on this on the dry part of the bath. Uh, so I think that's gonna work. And then here, of course, it would be a, a, the the seventeen oh eight had a, a shower curtain. And now we have this, which is, it, it, uh, as it goes in and out, it, it kind of dries itself. I don't want to break anything. There we go very simple uh, um, solution there and then if you don't need the sink well you have to do this first and then the sink disappears and you have your whole uh, shower enclosure uh, to take a shower <laughs> so um, yeah here you have all your audio commands of course the slide in and out it's grayed out or disabled because you don't have a slide uh, on this unit which I kind of like I, I, I'd be curious to see if if, if they can flex it yeah I'm using that verb again anyway let me let's walk around a little bit actually actually I want to show you one of the mini units not the micro mini the mini the main difference between the mini and the micro mini is the width uh, in the name you know mi micro minis are seven feet wide minis are eight feet wide and that makes a huge difference on the inside uh, space and this one as you can see here this is a brand new model here. This is the 2630 MLRK. It's a 30 foot long unit. Of course, they don't they don't really have numbers yet for the dry weight and the hitch weight. Um, let's go inside. Let me, you know, it's a, <laughs> I don't want to get it too dirty in here as I walk in. And here we go. We have a, a bathroom in the middle here. Of course, now we are in a different category when it comes to to appliances and things like that not apply is it is a toilet an appliance uh, you know that is the sound of a porcelain toilet of course a unit like this you, you can have a little more weight and you can uh, have those luxuries as a porcelain toilet here very nice large mirror very nice countertop lots of uh, room to put your toiletries you have a drawer you have a medicine cabinet and it is very nice, very nice shower. I'm not gonna get in there just not to get it too dirty, but uh, it is very tall. A six foot person would fit in there uh, with no problem. Here's the bedroom. I really like. I really like the fact that they put drawers in the in the in the nightstands. 
Here's your emergency exit. All of them have one. Here's you have drawers on your nightstands. You have on both sides. You have USBs, power plugs. You have a large uh, area here, uh, a wardrobe closet on both sides. You have that shelf that they've been putting on, on almost every unit. That shelf with a with a lip, so things won't fall off, fall off. I think that's a great solution, great idea. But the main thing here. <laughs> no, it's it's not it's not the recliners right in front of the TV. This is the main thing here. This is the game changer. And uh, I think Winnebago is, is listening to, to digital nomads like ourselves who want to have a desk. I mean, this could hide away like that. And you have a huge area, uh, even prep area for, for dining. I don't know if this is exactly, this is also, all of these units that I'm showing you are a, a little bit of prototypes, some of them. So some of these things might change. But here we go, this is great. You have this huge, I mean, it's it's very large uh, desk here. Then you can use even as a dinette, you could have two more chairs and, and, and have a party of four eating here. And then if you are a, I'm just changing hands because my hand is getting tired. You can use that TV as a second monitor. So you can have your computer here, your, your nice 27 inch 4K monitor and then a second monitor up, up there. And both Ilya and I, we both work with two monitors. Uh, and once you work with two monitors, there's no going back. So, and then again, if you just want to relax at the end of the day, you have here your recliners in front of your TV where they should be. I like, and um, I've seen it in, a, in another unit, I kind of like this contrast, you know, having the, the, the marble uh, top. It's not, you know, it's not real marble, but it looks like marble. And then having this dark blue, uh, cabinetry down here. I really like that contrast. You have three large drawers here. You have this here. And I don't know what they have down here, probably the, the water pump and all that stuff that is very easily accessible too. We ha I mean, you have a huge cavernous space where you can put stuff uh, back there. You just have to be careful with the, with the water lines. And uh, here we have, yeah, our, our pots and pans drawer and down here you see it's it's uh, the I, I see the similar pattern where they're using the similar solutions uh, you know like having that a uh, a converter box below the pots and pans uh, drawer again uh, similar appliances the same uh, a microwave uh, convection microwave we've seen here's a this one is different they're using a furion uh, uh, hood here this one has the Dometic 12 volt refrigerator, which I've been told most of them, in most of them, you can swap that for a propane refrigerator if that's what you want. Here we have all our controls. You know, everything is very standardized. And I like that Winnebago is doing that. Uh, and uh, uh, one more thing, this, is a, this, is a, this whole thing is a slide out, but I think most of the RV would be usable with the slide uh, in the inward position. I don't know um, exactly, but it probably comes all the way up to here. So you can potentially even still use uh, like the one of the rear, um, uh, you know, burners. Okay, that's the mini. That's the the, the new uh, mini unit here. This out here is an outdoor kitchen, which is also, you know, very popular feature. I like the magnetic, uh, you know, uh, holder there for the, for this uh, for all this out outside. Uh, access doors and uh, you have again the gray stone you have a, a sink you have a, a refrigerator which uh, would work great you know uh, you know when the weather is good an outdoor kitchen is an is a no-brainer so so you can entertain out here now i'm gonna show you um, one more unit and that is a voyage and as i was saying i wanted to show you a uh, voyage which is the 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 largest the, the larger uh, uh, towables that Wanabego is making right now, and this is, uh, I believe this is a brand new floor, floor plan, the 2831RB, 31 feet and eight inches long, dry weight, 7460. So um, yeah, for this you do probably need a slightly better, bigger truck than for one of the micro minis, but um, I mean, this is a lot more luxurious, a lot nicer, let me show you. But here we have this large bathroom, with oops, with storage, 
you know, when they're brand new, they're kind of hard to open. <laughs> and of course, porcelain toilet. You wouldn't have it any other way in a voyage. Nice shower. And we have, of course, your, your recliners. And let me tell you, ah, I'm getting a little tired and this is perfect here. My recliner, I would have my IPA right here in front of the fireplace. It is getting, the autumn is in the air here in Indiana. Nice large television set, that JBL audio system. This one does have a, a propane refrigerator, you know, two-way refrigerator, but I'm sure you could swap that for a, for a 12 volt if you, if you wanted to. We have a large uh, four-person dinette here. Maybe I should stand up. And this one has this, that same decor that I told you I liked, which is the, the, the marble uh, cooktop, cooktop, like, countertop. <laughs> And um, and then you know the, the the cabinetry on the bottom is that dark blue. I I, I think it is a great combination. You know that contrast. Uh, down here we have a lot of storage. More actually, this is perfect for a for a trash can, right here. This one does have a propane uh, oven, as well as a, as a, I don't know if this is convection. Yes, it is. As as well as a convection a microwave. And I love this cabinet too, you know, with the, with, the, with the tinted glass. It's very nice. This is a, look at that. Magnetic spice rack. I don't know if that comes standard or if that's just a, you know, the, they, they are staged here for, for us to see them. So, but um, that's a great idea, actually. I like that. Um, and then uh, uh, here at the end, you have like, I'm not kidding. It's a, it's a walking closet. I mean, this is perfect. And this is just to get a taste of, of all the towable units that, that Wanabego is, uh, uh, has on display here at the, at the Elkhart uh, open house. Yeah, we have a slide out with windows on all, on all sides. So, um, yeah. And one thing that I just noticed, okay, here we have also a very large wardrobe closet but here we also have this other wardrobe closet and I like the mirror you know that's something Illy will appreciate having another mirror here in the bathroom uh, we have a, a second in the bathroom in the bedroom here we have a second uh, entrance door because and uh, that would be a good thing to have because if you by any chance have to be in here with the slide uh, in you may not be able to get to the to the bedroom, but you can get in through that second door. And it looks like everything else would be functional in here, even with the slide in. So that's good. Oh, this is very nice <laughs> heat coming from here. I mean, it's, it's not cold by any means. It's probably like in the 50s, but I'm from Florida. So to me, 50s is cold. But well, I hope you have enjoyed this preview of all the Winnebago towable units that they're having here on display at the, at the open house in Elkhart, Indiana. And um, maybe, maybe what could possibly be Minitini 4. So uh, until the next one, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. Riding in my